Festival. It is the 10th Santa Fe Film Festival. I'm Bridget Kelly, and it is my extreme pleasure and honor to have with us this evening Mr. Mark Rydell. Good evening, Mr. Rydell. Thank you for being here. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be here and to be interviewed by such a lovely young woman. Oh, my goodness. Um, Mr. Rydell, you have been asked to come to this festival because of your tremendous work as both an actor and director, and you are going to be honored at uh, the banquet on Saturday night. How exciting. Yes. I'm thrilled. And um, this isn't your first time to Santa Fe or New Mexico, oh, no. is it? No, no. I shot uh, a picture called The Cowboys with John Wayne here in the 70s, which I guess makes me old. <laughs> oh, not necessarily. <laughs> you have an incredible, incredible biography and um, incredible amount of work. Uh, you, you began as an actor, correct? I did indeed. First as a musician. As a musician? Uh, first went, I went to Juilliard School of Music and I was a jazz piano player. And uh, the world of jazz in those days in the f f 50s. Holy smoke. <laughs> the 50s was full of drugs. And it uh, scared me because I have a, an addict's personality in the sense that I think if a little is good, a lot is better. <laughs> so I quit jazz and became an actor. Wow. Are you originally from New York? I am indeed. Okay. And um, you, you did a fair amount of soap opera work, is that correct? I was a leading actor on uh, As the World Turns for uh, six years. Wow. I uh, it paid for my, my apartment and my psychoanalysis and everything made me healthy. <laughs> and, and probably uh, soap opera actors really learn their stuff quickly, don't they? Well, you know, it's amazing. It, uh, you do maybe maybe 30 pages a day and you learn all the dialogue and then the next day it's gone and you're on to something else you're on to something else but you have to learn it's a technique you have to learn all that text for a half hour live show wow yeah. now um some of the the many feature films that you've directed one of one of my favorites is on golden pond thank you so much uh, really magnificent uh, incredible incredible piece of work. Are you working on something right now? I am indeed. I'm developing a number of uh, uh, actually three different uh, screenplays and uh, I, they're about ready to pop, all three of them, so I'm going to have to make a decision. Oh my goodness. Me, when you say that they're going to pop, what do you mean? They're about ready. You know, they've been in development for over a year. I've been working with the writers of each screenplay and they're about at the point now where one could say, let's shoot. Let's shoot. Fabulous. Um, we're very excited to have you here at this film festival. And nice of you to say so. We're, we're very proud that the film festival has continued on for 10 years. It's, it's tremendously important to independent filmmakers uh, to have all, a forum. All of the hope of the, of the best quality films is with the independent filmmakers. Uh, the, the studios have, uh, have somehow become more, what's the word, more cautious. And the, the adventurous films of certainly are made by the independents. And uh, having a, a forum, one of one of the wonderful things about this festival is that they they have quite a bit. Um, they have panels and workshops talking about how to get your film funded, how to how to work with um, the Screen Actors Guild, small independent, low budget contracts. Um, really, how to realize a film. Do you do you have any uh, words of advice or? Or something <laughs> you know, for those of us that are that that <laughs> hope to become something like you. Well, you remind me of I don't know people probably won't understand this here, but um, you remind me of, of, of Betty Davis who was being interviewed on television, and someone asked her, um, "Do you have any advice for young uh, young actors?" And she said, "Take Sunset Boulevard." She gave them geographic uh, <laughs> advice. <laughs> Uh, but um, I don't know what, 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 what how would you how would you like me to do it well it, yeah it's a very admittedly a very broad uh, when, when you're with someone as seasoned in front of the camera and behind the camera uh, we have an opportunity to kind of uh, get a chance to to see how the mind works of, of a great director uh, how, do, how do you choose your projects it's very simple I read constantly read material and when the hair stands up on the back of my neck, I know I've found something that I really like 
and that matters and that somehow has made a connection with my unconscious because it's a very long journey once you make a commitment to make a film it's a minimum of two years of your life monomaniacally involved in one particular thing so you better love it you better care about it you better think it has some meaning so that your life does. Yes. Uh, one of the themes of the festival has been um, about building community and service through filmmaking. Um, when, a, when a person makes a film that can be seen by so much of the world, you really have a, a chance to impact a great well, you number of people. You know, it's a people. big responsibility. I must tell you, I, I select films very carefully because I, uh, I want very much to make to have impact and to tell the truth which uh, as, as much as I can. I, I'm not into fri frivolous films. Uh, most of my films, are, while they may occasionally be funny, they are serious films and they have uh, a serious intention of illuminating something that hadn't been illuminated before. So I take this, uh, the choice very seriously. Yes. I yeah. feel the responsibility because you do, you have an impact. Where else, what other profession can you sit people in a darkened room and show them your work for two hours and while they sit in a seat and tell them what may be important. You may be able to reveal some truths that will be helpful to them. Yes, indeed. Well, this is just wonderful. We are speaking with Mr. Mark Rydell. It is an honor and a pleasure to have you with us. Well, sweet of you to say so. Thank you so much for your time. Please enjoy the rest of the festival and You're being an honored. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye.